It's Python on Hardware Time. So we do a newsletter every single week. Um, when we started this, we were like, I wonder how many people are going to subscribe over on Adafruit Daily. That's our newsletter site. Six. Um, well, we're up to 11,000. We did this before, but it's worth celebrating twice. Um, 11,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. We don't do ads. We don't spam. Um, you have to do this on Adafruit Daily to get Python microcontrollers. So um, this week in the news, we got a few things. Um, of course, talking about we have subscribers. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, when you subscribe, we know you you read it um, and you like it. But keep in mind, you can also get it on the blog. You can also get it on um, RSS. You can get it on GitHub. But a lot of people like it delivered to their inbox because they know we are not going to do anything with your email address. Um, we have a new circuit Python edition lots of bug fixes Little, yeah you know just 7.10 um and then we have a beta um and then there's a bug fix which 905 if you want to check out it, the blog and the release notes for more details and then the news you know we were kind of asked um different places online like what do we think so um this is kind of big news the uh one of the more popular python running pot platforms because it's linux is raspberry pi it stands for python yeah um is going public and that's set for june so they also um in the london exchange yeah and they also took some funding so this is the subsidiary the trading company this is the company that sells this stuff is going to go public so we'll see what happens this is um the, one of what 70 percent is b2b it's a lot of industry yeah you can look at um tom's hardware and the register has um more information about it and you know they're starting to do some quotes. What is this going to be for? Engineering capital expenditure and supply chains will benefit from the investment. Um, you know, folks are asking, is this going to, you know, stop any future uh, pie supply issues? Um, well, hopefully it will help them avoid future pie supply issues because, they, you know, they'll be able to buy enough inventory or float the inventory. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think it's interesting. I mean, like, you know, the Raspberry Pi team has been cranking out a lot of stuff. I know that there's more stuff coming down the pipe um yeah they're definitely hitting their stride i think the pi 5 is like a big evolution in like the ability of the compute module you have the the processing power of a little desktop yeah. computer it's not 25 bucks or 35 bucks but it's you know not too expensive and they still have the pi 4 available um and of course the compute module is very popular in the industry yeah and uh we talked about this last week so we'll skip this but we have 500 boards in circuit python and then someone pointed out in the chat pointed this out in the chat but we also mentioned this is um Sony's planning to dedicate a Raspberry Pi production line in Japan ahead of the Raspberry Pi IPO. So it looks like, you know, all the things are converging to have You're gonna see a lot steady supply. I don't run Raspberry Pi, I don't have any insight. But in general, around an IPO, you're gonna see a lot of news and product release. There's always a little bit of Yeah, it's um, there's a quiet period for some things, but then there's, period, then, then there's a lot of press release there's stuff. There's a lot of stuff. So like, here's what we're doing. I think in June, you're going to see a lot of like pre-announcements and here's yeah. partnerships. It's very, very common, you know, as part of the IPO project to also be like, you know, to get people excited, they're going to talk about the future. So hopefully yeah. we'll see some stuff. I don't know anything. Yeah, I'm just uh, guessing. Um, and then you can check out, uh, this is a DIY space mouse. You can use the HD sensors. Yeah, there's Magnetics. the new little Arduino bot. You can run MicroPython on it. And uh, check out some highlights from our Learn system, Playgrounds, where people publish their own projects and more. So it is a good time to be doing some Python and some... Especially you can get hardware. There's so like a lot of designs and boards. I mean, I love it. Yeah. Um, Definitely a, a resurgence in the community. Yeah, so do check it out. And uh, in addition to the 500 boards, we have 484 libraries for CircuitPython. And then we also have Blinka, which runs on Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi. So that is all the news that's fit to Pi this week. Um, one special mention, though, I wanted to add is if you um, didn't make it to PyCon, that's OK. Uh, Jepler's presentation connecting old to new at circuit python retro input devices on modern pcs the slides will be up and the video soon we'll get the word out it'll be in the newsletter and you can tune into jeff's presentation which was well received people liked it seemed to have a good time so you'll see that all this can be delivered to you every single week on adafruit daily python on hardware newsletter thanks blinka ding 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 okay so we do a bunch of